The INFJ personality type is known to experience stress in more areas of their life, from people-pleasing tendencies, self-criticisms and unfulfilling work, to lack of social lives and difficulty finding romance. Their perfectionist nature can bring on a host of stressors. So what are the most common sources of stress for an INFJ and how can they be avoided or reversed? Well, that's exactly what we're going to discuss today. Welcome, or welcome back, psychos! Before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel, as well as to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Alright, let's jump right into it, starting with number 1. Sensory Overload INFJs have a heightened sensitivity to the world around them in comparison to some of the other personality types in the MBTI theory. This subconscious ability allows them to pick up on subtle cues and details that other people usually miss, while also allowing them to understand people on a deep emotional level. On the other hand, having this gift is not an easy job and can in fact become extremely overwhelming if they don't take the measures to work with it instead of against it. Too many details, options, and other sensory stimuli can quickly become stressful for an INFJ, especially when in uncertain situations. Any type of unexpected environment, event, or interruption can become unsettling because it requires an INFJ to focus on immediate sensory details over their innate intuitive nature. This can be anything, from traveling through a foreign place or starting a project that has many components. Another example is walking through a busy mall. For an INFJ, the smells, people, sights and energy can call for a very unpleasant shopping experience that won't last for more than 20 minutes. Unfortunately, INFJs can't entirely avoid this cause of stress without being a complete hermit. Luckily, even in a world of constant sensory stimulation, there are definitely some measures they can take to maintain balance. Something as simple as 10 minutes each day of silence with eyes closed can drastically make a difference. Call it meditation or relaxation. Whatever it is, INFJs require an off button and it's worth finding it for the sake of mental peace. Also, reflecting on and pinpointing the recurring simulations within the INFJ's life can help them avoid them in the moment. For example, shutting off your email notifications or temporarily silencing certain apps. Number 2. Lack of time to recharge Extroverting is hard for an INFJ, beyond the fact that they can easily become overstimulated by their surroundings. INFJs love humans and they are usually great communicators when they have to be, but the social battery of an INFJ runs short awfully quickly. This is because they subconsciously feel the emotions of others around them while trying to figure them out on a deep level. It's the only way an INFJ enjoys socializing as they're not fans of small talk. And so, if you're an INFJ yourself, it goes without saying that you need your alone time to recharge, and you know this. In fact, without this much-needed recharge time, an INFJ will usually begin feeling irritable, stressed, and completely uninterested in what's going on around them. Their charming social skills are quickly outlived by their introverted nature, and where their introverted side takes over, socializing is no longer enjoyable for them. In other words, when an INFJ is ready to go, there is no changing their mind. Luckily, INFJs can avoid this irritability of a drained social battery by putting their need for periods of solitude at the forefront of their social priorities. For the sake of their mental health, Finding go-to places and hobbies that can help INFJs regain their equilibrium, such as in nature, or exercising, is super important. Number 3. Lack of Independence Overly structured and controlled environments don't drive well with INFJs who tend to use their unique thinking patterns to get things done their own way. INFJs hold a high standard of perfectionism and, without the flexibility to utilize this creativity, they can become extremely stressed. 
An INFJ can usually point out where other people went wrong in a project because of their keen eye for detail. So, when they are presented with an environment that has rules and structure in place, they can see all the ways it could work better. This type of stress can also be apparent when INFJs are faced with working with an inefficient group or team because they tend to feel like they need to micromanage other people or do everything themselves in order to achieve the standard they've mentally laid out for the project. The best way for an INFJ to steer clear of this source of stress is to first attempt to find a career path and work environment that allows them to work the way they like to. Don't hesitate to ask for a trial period to prove efficiency with independence at play. Or, when working in groups, INFJs can use their communication skills to explain their elaborate plan of execution, and then place the trust in their team members to work together. Nobody said the brains in the group have to do the most work. Number 4. Close Relationship Conflict INFJs are known to be one of the more vulnerable personality types when it comes to hurt feelings and conflict in close relationships. In fact, conflict and chaos within an INFJ close relationship can create so much mental turmoil and stress that they tend to put up with a lot of negativity, just to keep the peace. However, there is a fine line of patience and when crossed or tested too many times, an INFJ's stress reaction can create a type of anger intensity that not only leaves the other person at a loss for words, but also can make an INFJ feel foreign to themselves. And because INFJs are always hesitant to open up to someone new, they tend to hold on to their close relationships very tightly, which can also create a form of attachment stress. They actually cherish their relationships with others so deeply by always looking at the good side of things, but this results in blindsiding the bad qualities, resulting in the INFJ overstaying their stay in unhealthy relationships. The best way to avoid this type of stress is to, you guessed it, spend some time alone. Alone time is even more beneficial for an INFJ when they are challenged to sort their thoughts on a matter related to close relationships. INFJs are easily convinced and can take on the beliefs of their loved ones, so it's important to take the time alone to decipher how they actually feel, in comparison to what others want them to feel. Alright psychos, that's it for today. Before you go, can you relate to these causes of stress as an INFJ? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.